What was the final budget? All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. Thanks a lot for coming. I'm Andy Saylor. Uh, I'm a grad student here. I run these lectures amongst other things. You can reach me at andrew.saylor. It's on. There's a red light blinking on the back, right? Yeah, um, it's green. Yes. Red light. Yeah, red one. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for that interruption. But uh, <laughs> um, so I'm a grad student here. You can reach me at. I don't have to do anything with my email address up here. Andrew.saylor at colorado.edu. Uh, if you ever need to get a hold of me and have questions follow up for any of these, these videos will be online afterwards at foundation.cs.colorado.edu. We're going to be talking about Git and GitHub tonight, so these are version control systems, and we're going to kind of start from the ground up because I assume there's people here that haven't really used them a lot before, but we'll get into some of the more advanced features as well. Um, are there any generalized questions or anything that we should get out of the way before I get started? All right. Give a shout if this font's too small or too washed out or any of the above, and I will change it. So the place to start is what is Git and what is a version control system. So Git, spelled inappropriately, is a one of a number of programs that do similar things. All of these are what we call version control systems. The other ones that are out there are something called CVS, something called SVN, something called Mercurial, which I probably can't spell because they didn't pick a three-letter acronym like everyone else. <laughs> um, there's probably more, you know, like many things in computer science, every time someone has a free weekend, they make a new version control system. So, but these are the ones that mainly get used. Uh, of these, Git and Mercurial are probably the newest. They're both what we call distributed version control systems. So a lot of the stuff you can do in Git, you can also do here. CVS is kind of the old traditional one. SVN was some middle ground, and then Git is what was written to kind of replace SVN. So Git's the coolest. You should all be using Git, but you know, when you walk into your internship this summer, and you're working with a bunch of people that think SVN was the greatest thing ever, it's just because they're over the age of 30 and they don't know what's up. Um, but today, there are compelling reasons why Git's preferred. Git was actually written by Wynish Travolt, who you may know for writing the Linux operating system, amongst other things. There's a really good video you can watch on why Wynish Travolt uh, wrote Git, and what it mainly comes down to is he thinks CVS is the worst thing ever, and SVN was created to fix CVS, and he says it's so bad you can't even fix it, so SVN is also the worst thing ever. So he wrote Git as the alternative, and Git is what's used to manage Linux. So like when he develops Linux, he uses Git, and now a lot of other people use Git too, because it's very nice at what it does. Um, Mercurial is similar to Git. It does some of, the, some of the same things. I'm not as familiar with it, but it also kind of addresses these post SVN type issues. So that's letters and names and an eraser. What is a version control system then? So these things are all version control systems, and the gist is well, a version control system is essentially a way for us to track changes to our files. Um, this is useful for a variety of reasons, right? So you're programming a file, all of a sudden you introduce a bug, and you want to be able to roll back the file to the state before your last edit so you can see if the bug disappears. Or you're getting to the point where you're maintaining a program with a team. You all need access to the code, right? If you're zipping it up and emailing it around to each other, I mean, it's the rest for disaster. What if someone's not using the most recent version? And there's some bug you fixed, but they're not you fixed it, and they start building off it, and then, I mean, it would be a disaster. You can't work that way. So when you get into developing big software projects, both for your own benefit and especially when you're working on a team, version control becomes a very, necessity, a very necessary practice. Um, it's also the kind of thing where if you walk into a job interview, they're going to ask you a question about version control because it's one of those things that differentiates the people that just read the computer science textbooks from the people that actually write code and know how to code and know the tools you need to code in a less painful manner. Um, so version control is certainly something you should be using. It will make your life a lot easier. I use it for pretty much all the code I write now, even when I'm writing alone, just because it adds all of these nice benefits. Uh, the ability to roll back to files, the ability to track changes, the ability to have different, like if I want to try two solutions, I can essentially have two different branches that are diverging from the same point and pull them back together later without you know, just copying the, co the code or doing something kind of base like that. 
So questions on version control or kind of what the basic concept is? All right. So Git's, like I said a couple times, it's a distributed version control system that differs from some of these other systems. Almost all of these have some component for doing group work, but things like CVS and SVN are more server-based, um, whereas you have like a centralized server and everyone talks to that, so on and so forth. Uh, that's the old model. That's not what we would call distributed because it has kind of a single point of failure here, right? Or this single server that you can only talk to when you're sitting in the office, not when you're at home, or so on and so forth. Git has a far more distributed model. So in Git, you essentially, I mean, it's very much more of a peer-to-peer -peer kind of thing where anyone can basically communicate their changes with anyone else. Now, we're also going to talk about GitHub tonight, which starts to flummox this a little bit because GitHub is then again kind of one big website that you tend to push all your changes to. So we're kind of back to this model again, but Git does not lock you into this, right? And technically GitHub doesn't either, right? If you use GitHub and Bitbucket or something, you can still, you can have multiple ones of these. Uh, it just so happens that if you're using GitHub, you're often just using one because it's convenient, but that's not baked into Git. Git's far more flexible than that. You can choose which way you want to use it in a, in a given situation. And you can switch. You don't have to choose right off the bat. So I've had situations where like, I have code on GitHub, but I'm also collaborating with something on someone else. GitHub goes down, because sometimes that happens. They might have cloud infrastructure like everyone else. GitHub goes down, and then the two of us can just push changes directly to each other until GitHub Hub comes back up. Whereas if this were SVN or CVS, if this goes down, I mean, take the day off, right? I mean, you're not going to, you can't really do anything about it. All right. So what we're going to look at first is we're not going to worry about this whole sharing your changes, distributed, et cetera, et cetera environment. And we're going to look at just using Git all by itself on your own computer without worrying about ever syncing your changes against a centralized server. This is a perfectly valid use case. We'll get to that use case here in a little bit. But I mean, this is a fine use case. It does a lot of good. You're limited to a single computer. So it's not like I can go get my changes someplace else. We'll address that in the second half when we start to look at some of distributed. But the commands are all pretty much the same. So to teach kind of the core Git concepts, the core version control system concepts, we can just do it on our local computers. 